In this video, we will explore the top 25 Microsoft Office 365 interview questions and their corresponding answers. These questions are designed to help you prepare effectively for interviews in roles that require proficiency in Office 365 applications. Whether you're a beginner or looking to refine your skills, this guide offers insights into the key topics and features of Office 365. Join us to enhance your understanding and boost your confidence for your upcoming interviews. 1. What is the difference between Microsoft 365 and Office 365? Microsoft 365 is a comprehensive suite that includes Office 365, Windows 10, and Enterprise Mobility plus Security, offering a complete productivity solution for businesses. Office 365, on the other hand, focuses primarily on cloud-based applications such as Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, along with services like Exchange Online and OneDrive for Business. Microsoft 365 integrates these applications with additional features like device management and security tools, providing a more expansive platform for organizations seeking to enhance collaboration and productivity while ensuring data security across devices. 2. Explain the key components of Office 365. Office 365 consists of several key components that enhance productivity and collaboration. These include Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook, which are essential for document creation and communication. SharePoint Online enables team collaboration and document management, while OneDrive for Business offers cloud storage for personal files. Microsoft Teams serves as a hub for teamwork, integrating chat, video conferencing, and file sharing. Additionally, Exchange Online provides email services, and Power BI allows for data analytics. These integrated components create a comprehensive productivity suite. 3. What are the main benefits of using Office 365 for businesses? Office 365 offers numerous advantages for businesses, including enhanced collaboration through real-time co-authoring and seamless integration of tools like Teams, SharePoint, and OneDrive. It provides access to cloud-based applications, ensuring employees can work from anywhere, on any device. Regular updates and upgrades mean businesses always have access to the latest features without additional costs. Enhanced security measures, including data encryption and compliance with industry standards, help protect sensitive information. Finally, flexible subscription models enable organizations to scale their services according to their needs, optimizing costs. 4. How does Office 365 handle data security and compliance? Office 365 employs a multi-layered approach to data security and compliance. It includes encryption for data at rest and in transit, ensuring that sensitive information is protected. Advanced Threat Protection ATP, safeguards against malware and phishing attacks. Compliance features such as Data Loss Prevention DLP, help organizations manage sensitive data effectively. Office 365 also provides tools for e-discovery and legal hold, enabling businesses to meet regulatory requirements. Regular security assessments and compliance certifications further enhance trust in the platform's security measures. 5. Describe the process of setting up multi-factor authentication in Office 365. Setting up multi-factor authentication, MFA, in Office 365 involves several key steps. First, an administrator accesses the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and navigates to the Users section. There, select Active Users, and locate the user for whom MFA is being enabled. Click on Multi-Factor Authentication, Settings. Next, users are prompted to enroll in MFA, where they can choose their preferred method, such as a phone call, text message, or authenticator app. After enrollment, users must verify their identity using the chosen method during the sign-in process, enhancing security by requiring a second form of authentication. 6. What steps would you take to add a new user to Office 365? To add a new user to Office 365, first, sign in to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Navigate to the Users section and select Active Users. Click on Add a User. Enter the user's first and last name, display name, and username. Choose a domain if applicable. Assign a product license based on the user's needs. Configure additional settings such as roles if necessary. Finally, review the information and click Finish Adding. An email with the login details can be sent to the user for easy access. 7. How do you manage licenses in Office 365? Managing licenses in Office 365 involves several steps. Firstly, you access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, where you can view all available licenses and their assignments. You can assign or remove licenses from users by navigating to the Users section, selecting a user, and clicking on Licenses and Apps. 
it's important to monitor license usage regularly to optimize costs and ensure compliance. Additionally, you can leverage PowerShell for bulk license management, which is especially useful for large organizations. Setting up alerts for license thresholds can help maintain proper license allocation. 8. Explain the concept of groups in Office 365 and their use cases. Groups in Office 365 are a way to manage collaboration among users effectively. They allow users to come together with a shared purpose, such as a project team or department. Each group can have its own shared resources, including a shared mailbox, calendar, files, and OneNote notebook. Common use cases include project management, departmental communications, and collaborative document editing. Groups can be created as public or private, enabling flexibility in how information is shared. Integration with Microsoft Teams enhances group collaboration by providing chat, video conferencing, and other tools. 9. What is Azure Active Directory and how does it relate to Office 365? Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, is a cloud-based identity and access management service from Microsoft. It provides a centralized way to manage user identities, authenticate users, and control access to applications and resources. Azure AD is integral to Office 365 as it serves as the backbone for user management and security. When users sign into Office 365, they authenticate against Azure AD, allowing for seamless access to various services. Additionally, Azure AD enables features like single sign-on, SSO, multi-factor authentication, MFA, and conditional access policies, enhancing security and user experience in Office 365 environments. 10. How would you troubleshoot a user unable to access their Office 365 account? To troubleshoot a user unable to access their Office 365 account, start by confirming the user's credentials and ensuring they are entering them correctly. Check if the account is locked or requires a password reset. Verify that the user has an active license assigned in the Office 365 admin center. If multi-factor authentication, MFA, is enabled, ensure the user can complete the MFA process. Examine any service health issues on the Office 365 service status page. If problems persist, consider checking browser settings, clearing cache, or trying a different device to isolate the issue. 11. Describe the main features of Microsoft Teams and how it integrates with other Office 365 apps. Microsoft Teams is a collaboration platform that combines chat, video meetings, and file sharing. Key features include threaded conversations, file storage, and integration with various apps. Teams allows for real-time collaboration through document sharing and co-authoring using Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. It seamlessly integrates with Outlook for scheduling meetings, SharePoint for file management, and Planner for task organization. Teams also supports third-party app integration, enhancing productivity by centralizing communication and collaboration within the Office 365 ecosystem. 12. What is SharePoint Online used for in Office 365? SharePoint Online serves as a cloud-based platform for collaboration and document management within Office 365. It enables teams to create, share, and manage content seamlessly. SharePoint facilitates version control, allowing multiple users to work on the same document without conflicts. It also integrates with other Office 365 tools, enhancing productivity by linking resources and applications. Customization options enable organizations to tailor their sites to meet specific needs, making it a versatile solution for businesses. 13. How does OneDrive for Business differ from personal OneDrive? OneDrive for Business is designed specifically for organizations, offering enhanced security features, compliance capabilities, and integration with Office 365 applications. Unlike personal OneDrive, which caters primarily to individual users, OneDrive for Business provides admin controls, shareable links with permission settings, and enhanced storage options aligned with business needs. Additionally, OneDrive for Business supports collaboration among team members, allowing multiple users to edit documents simultaneously while maintaining version control, which is crucial for organizations. 14. Explain the concept of co-authoring in Office 365 applications. Co-authoring in Office 365 applications allows multiple users to work on a document simultaneously, enhancing collaboration and productivity. This feature is available in apps like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. When users open a document stored in OneDrive or SharePoint, they can see each other's changes in real-time. Changes are automatically saved, and users can communicate through comments, ensuring clarity. Co-authoring streamlines teamwork, eliminates version conflicts, and enables seamless integration of ideas, making it an essential tool for teams working remotely or across different locations. 15. What are the key features of Exchange Online? 
Exchange Online offers a range of powerful features designed for modern communication and collaboration. Users benefit from a cloud-based email service with robust security measures, including anti-malware and anti-spam protection. It provides seamless access to emails, calendars, and contacts across devices. The platform supports shared mailboxes and calendar sharing, enhancing teamwork. Additionally, Exchange Online integrates smoothly with other Office 365 applications, enabling rich functionalities like scheduling meetings directly from Outlook. With 99.9% .9 uptime guaranteed, organizations can rely on its availability for critical business communications. 16. Outline the steps involved in migrating from on-premises exchange to Office 365. Migrating from on-premises exchange to Office 365 involves several key steps. First, assess your current environment to identify the number of mailboxes and data to migrate. Next, prepare your Office 365 tenant by configuring domain settings and ensuring proper licensing. Then, consider using a hybrid deployment to facilitate a smoother transition. After that, utilize tools like the Exchange Admin Center or PowerShell for mailbox migration. Finally, perform post-migration tasks, including updating DNS records and training users on Office 365 features. Regularly monitor the process to address any issues that arise. 17. What factors should be considered when planning an Office 365 deployment? When planning an Office 365 deployment, several factors should be evaluated. First, assess the organization's needs, including the number of users and required applications. Understand the existing IT infrastructure, including network capabilities and on-premises systems. Data migration strategies should be developed to ensure a smooth transition. Compliance and security requirements are crucial, so consider the necessary policies and controls. User training and support are essential for adoption, ensuring that staff is comfortable with the new tools. Lastly, budget constraints should be outlined to avoid unexpected costs during implementation. 18. How would you handle a hybrid deployment scenario with Office 365? In a hybrid deployment scenario with Office 365, it's essential to ensure seamless integration between on-premises environments and cloud services. Start by assessing the existing infrastructure, including Active Directory and Exchange. Synchronization using Azure AD Connect will allow users to access both environments with a single set of credentials. Establish a clear plan for mail flow, ensuring that users in both environments can communicate effectively. Carefully configure hybrid features like shared mailboxes and public folders. Regularly monitor performance and user experience to address any issues promptly. 19. What is data loss prevention, DLP, in Office 365 and how is it implemented? Data loss prevention, DLP, in Office 365 helps organizations protect sensitive information from being shared unintentionally. DLP policies are created to identify, monitor, and protect sensitive data across Microsoft 365 services such as Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive for Business. Implementation involves defining the types of sensitive information to protect, setting up rules for how this data can be shared, and configuring actions to take when violations occur. Administrators can leverage built-in templates or customize rules based on organizational needs, ensuring compliance with relevant regulations. 20. Explain the concept of e-discovery in Office 365. E-discovery in Office 365 allows organizations to identify, hold, and manage data that may be relevant to legal cases or investigations. It helps in searching through various data sources within Office 365, such as Exchange Online, SharePoint Online, and OneDrive for Business, to find relevant information. The process involves creating e-discovery cases, placing holds on data to prevent deletion, and exporting content for review. This functionality ensures compliance with legal requirements and supports effective data management during litigation, audits, or internal investigations, enhancing an organization's ability to respond to legal requests efficiently. 21. How does Office 365 handle email encryption? Office 365 employs several methods for email encryption, ensuring that sensitive information remains protected during transmission. One primary method is Microsoft 365 Message Encryption, MME which allows users to send encrypted emails to anyone, regardless of whether they use Office 365. Additionally, SMIME, Secure, Multipurpose Internet Mail Extensions, provides encryption for emails within organizations that support it. Office 365 also integrates with Azure Information Protection, AIP, enabling users to classify and protect emails based on sensitivity. These tools help organizations comply with regulations while keeping communications secure. 22. How can Power Apps be used to extend Office 365 functionality? 
Power Apps can be utilized to create custom applications that enhance Office 365 functionality by allowing users to build tailored solutions without extensive coding knowledge. Users can connect to various data sources, including SharePoint, Dynamics 365, and SQL databases, enabling seamless integration and data manipulation. With Power Apps, businesses can automate workflows, design user-friendly interfaces, and improve collaboration among teams. This leads to increased efficiency and productivity as users can address specific needs and streamline processes directly within the Office 365 ecosystem. 23. Describe the process of creating a custom SharePoint site template. Creating a custom SharePoint site template involves several key steps. Start by setting up a SharePoint site with the desired configurations, including lists, libraries, pages, and web parts. Once the site is fully designed, save it as a template by navigating to the site settings, selecting Save Site as Template, and providing a name and description. Ensure that you check the box to include content if necessary. After saving, the template will appear in the List Templates Gallery. You can then use this template to create new sites, providing a consistent structure across projects. 24. What is the Microsoft Graph API and how can it be used with Office 365? The Microsoft Graph API is a unified endpoint that allows developers to access a wide range of Microsoft 365 services and data. It provides a way to interact with resources such as users, groups, mail, calendar, and files across Microsoft 365 applications. By using Microsoft Graph API, developers can build applications that integrate seamlessly with Office 365 services, allowing for automation of tasks, retrieval of user data, and real-time collaboration features. The API supports RESTful calls and offers SDKs in various programming languages, making it easier to develop applications tailored to business needs. 25. How would you integrate third-party applications with Office 365? Integrating third-party applications with Office 365 can enhance productivity and streamline workflows. Start by using Microsoft Graph API, which provides a unified endpoint for accessing data across Office 365 services. You can register your application in the Azure Active Directory portal to obtain necessary permissions. Utilize connectors in Microsoft Power Automate to link with various apps and automate processes. Additionally, explore the AppSource marketplace for pre-built integrations and leverage Microsoft Teams for collaboration tools that support third-party integrations seamlessly, improving user experience. In this video, we've explored the top 25 Microsoft Office 365 interview questions and their answers, equipping you with the knowledge to excel in your next job interview. Understanding these key concepts can significantly boost your confidence and performance when discussing Office 365 with potential employers. If you found this information helpful, please give us a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content that can help you advance your career. Thank you for watching.